Greetings. Welcome. The House of Grief lies just within. We are here to help. Welcome to the House of Grief. Or perhaps welcome is the wrong word, Shadowheart. There's been some debate whether you'd even show up and face the consequences of your actions. I assumed you tried to flee, like a craven. Spare me your venom. I'm sure the Mother Superior will have plenty of her own. All in due time. Let us pass. As I said, in due time. First you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. The mapping of the what? This is the house of grief. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy. Be it with anger, melancholy, grief, or treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. The Heart of Grief welcomes you and stands ready to ease your troubles. You seek to be unburdened. Yes, the mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. Her voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. Go ahead. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No. Had taken from me. My family. My life. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? What's going on? Is this part of the mapping? Why map what is already known? A disloyal heart, a craven heart, a shadow heart. Now answer. What is your true purpose? The artifact. I was sent to retrieve it, at any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior of Sha... It's you. Give me the honor of my name. In full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior... Lyconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Lyconia Devere. If only Shar would bless me with the forgetting of your face. You... Bo would have recognized your foul scent, if not for all this evil Sharon incense. Always a pleasure to see old acquaintances. But you would be wise to not interfere in what is to come. Now descend. You have much to answer for. Oh, the projection. Let us find her in the flesh, then. So I can give her a hug. This is it. Where I was raised. Trained. Held. It's strange to be back.
I sometimes wondered if Viconia had returned to the Underdark. But instead, she brought her sordid little patch of darkness to the city with her. A sad thing to raise a child down in the darkness. Small wonder Shadowheart is so pale. And the smelling of damp. Disguise can serve a warrior of the Dark Lady better than any armor. That's what they always told us. I think this was my favorite part. Putting these on. Pretending to be someone else. I suppose that's been my whole life. have hurt people here. Learned how to break their bodies. Their spirits. Quiet in here now. But it wasn't always so. Screams rang off these walls. I swear I can almost hear them. I remember this place now. A whole stolen childhood spent in these halls. The Mother Superior must be close. Soon this will all be over. Keep going. The Mother Superior is expecting you. how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah, how she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family. And now you have turned your back on it. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself. And you squandered it. Shadowheart has nothing to prove to the likes of you. Such misplaced camaraderie. How about this? Surrender this one to me, now, and you can leave freely, and consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. Never. As you like. Lilala! For Shah!
finish it. Send me to Lady Shah's embrace. She still has answers I need. Make it quick. My parents. Where are they? So blunt. Have you forgotten all the interrogation techniques I taught you? Where is the finesse? Answer me! They are right through that door in the Chamber of Loss. Where they have been all along. You saw them many times. Only we made you forget. But they didn't forget. They watched as we molded you. They watched. They wept. They bled. Often at your hand. It may not be a happy reunion, but it will be a memorable one. Such cruelty. Why? Why me? Why all this effort? Lady Shah commanded me, and I obeyed. I do not question. I merely act as she wills me to. I had an enclave in Waterdeep, you know. Much grander than this. Shah ordered me to raise it. Kill all who followed me. Claim they betrayed me. When in fact, I slew those who showed nothing but loyalty. Shah had me do that. And I did. To cover my tracks. To usher in you. What are you talking about? You became my mission. To take a child of Salunas and turn her over to Lady Shah. To show that all light fades and darkness will prevail in the end. All this was to make you into what the Dark Lady needed you to be. The planning. The training. Those deaths in Waterdeep. It was all to groom you to replace me at her right-hand side. And still you threw it away. What do you want to do, Shadowheart? I want to see my parents. And I don't care what happens to this one. She's been in my head long enough already. Do what you like. I know you'll choose well. What are you doing? Come back and finish this yourself! You owe me that! Let go, mother. Embrace loss. She stands at the same crossroads you yourself once did, Viconia. <laughs> but it seems you are not quite the teacher you thought. Boo thinks you have had every chance to change your ways. Count yourself blessed it is not he who judges you today. Go. If you're wise, you'll vanish. I... I'm adept at it. Aluve. What? Minsk has the itch that only a butt can scratch. A kicked butt, I mean. How was your reunion with Viconia? Who is overjoyed with our victory? Another den of evil vanquished, and an old foe defeated. Well, Viconia was a friend for a short time beforehand, but then a foe once more. Yes, Boo, a most wicked witch. The very mention of her name gives him nightmares to this day. Why is he so scared of Viconia? Do not be afraid, Boo. She is not here. And you, bite your tongue until your eyes water and your hairs curl. Sorry, but why is he so afraid of her? Boo and Minsk have traveled far and wide, and met many fine and not-so-fine people. It will surprise you to learn that even the wisest of friends do not always recognize Boo for what he is. A miniature giant space hamster? Exactly! 
The Drowl was a cruel witch, but a clever one. She knew what Boo was right away, and she had never seen his like before. She wished to inspect his handsome magnificence, and so she did. One night, while he lay asleep, twitching his whiskers in happy dreams, she crept upon his tiny bedroll holding a knife as slim as a toothpick. She meant to spill his miniature guts and study them. I'm surprised you didn't kill her there and then. I did not get the chance. Boo never sleeps deeply while evil is near. He sprang into action and almost blinded the witch. She had fled from her camp by morning when Boo told me the whole tale over a breakfast of berries and nuts. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Viconia won't be a problem anymore. What comes now? My parents are still captive. I need to free them. Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me, Nocturne. Do you remember? You recall the memory Shadowheart recovered by eating the noble stalk. This must be the person she remembered. I remember you, but you're different. Very different. I used to call you something else, didn't I? You did, but that's not who I am now. I remember the other initiates used to tease you about your name. The one you chose to honor Lady Shah. They were attacking who you were. I never found it funny, but I wasn't quite sure why. Eventually, I realized it was because I wasn't happy with who I was. I couldn't keep going like that. But seeing how you fought on, I realized that I didn't have to. From then on, I was Nocturne. It wasn't easy. But everything started to make sense. I could breathe. It's a beautiful name. Suits you well. Thank you. Picked it myself. <laughs> but enough of that. I, I can't believe you're back. I've been trying to return here as long as I can remember. Which admittedly doesn't amount to much. They... They whispered it was a suicide mission. This search for the artifact you were sent on. Some even thought it was the Mother Superior's plan alone, and not Lady Shah's intent. But now it seems you've turned on both the Mother Superior and Lady Shah. Shah condemned me. By her decree, you and I are enemies. Only if you wish us to be. You helped me be true to myself. I will not begrudge you for discovering yourself. Even if it displeases Lady Shah. That's... good enough for me. I'm not sure what I expected coming back to this place. Certainly not a friend. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. There are. But with the Mother Superior gone, I don't know if I can stay here to reminisce. Perhaps there's another enclave out there for me. You don't need Shah. You don't, perhaps. Not everyone is as brave. I'll leave come tomorrow. Come see me before then. I was working as quartermaster. I can sell you some things to aid you. And we can catch up. Greetings. Do you seek to trade? As Shadowheart's friend, I'll extend the privilege to you as well. Let me see your wares. Be sure to get everything you need. Come tomorrow, I'll be gone. There's a hole back there, behind the crates. Oh, 
hideaway. Why does this place seem so familiar? She is going to make me look in the mirror again. She is going to take my memories. I do not want to forget who I am. I like flowers. I like animals. My name is... The writing breaks off with a jagged scrawl, as if interrupted. No keyhole. Must be another way in. After I moved something on the altar. time you try to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. You're a monster, not a goddess. I am neither. I am nothing. I am the empty room, the dreamless sleep, the shadow's shadow. There was no pain before my sister set the sun aflame. Now you exist to suffer until you find your way back to my embrace. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you. You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, d I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured. 
to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. You have to choose, Shadowheart. Free your parents, or rid yourself of Shah's curse. No, I, I can't. I came here for them. And you did. You found us. All these years, that dream kept us going. That you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was, and still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. But I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. This is your choice, Shadowheart. You don't need me to tell you what is right. I didn't come this far just to give up at the final hurdle. We're leaving this place together. I'm going to take care of you. Our time has passed, Genevel. You must not let us burden you. You're no burden. You're my strength. I think I know where my willful side comes from now. But it... Hush, Arnel. Jen wants her family. Jen shall have her family. How can we help, dear? Out of this place as soon as your strength allows. There's a camp. You'll be safe there. Everything that's happened. Shah. My parents. It's almost too much to take in. Give me a night to try and get my head together. Char believes us so fearful of pain that we would empty our lives of all other feeling just to escape it. I will admit a petty sort of pleasure in watching Shadowheart make the goddess look illiquid. Ha! The heart of a berserker beats in the cleric's chest. Char thinks this pain is a punishment. No! Pain is a promise that all our enemies' blows have not killed us and will be heaped back upon their heads tenfold. Lady of loss, I see now, Boo, because she is always losing. like that again after so long without thank you how do you feel old I was a young woman when they seized me Anel and I hoped Jen would be joined by siblings but that dream's gone now 
And there's a stranger in the mirror. But I still have my teeth. That first apple was worth the wait. Apologies. Even the littlest thing wears me out. I should rest a little. We'll talk soon, Arnell. Arnell is your husband. I'm Tav. Oh, I see. Do forgive me. You've shown great kindness, allowing my wife and I to remain with you. Thank you. I'm glad Genevelle found you. As am I. You are more than just a friend to her, aren't you? I saw the way she looked at you. It reminded me of her mother when we first met. Don't worry. I am truly glad she found you. And I have scant energy to play the stern father. There must be stories you could tell. But perhaps another time. I'm afraid my strength has not returned just yet. Decades in that place has left me maimed. Body and soul. Some rest, perhaps, will make me better company. Shadowheart's search is concluded. The Night Singer may inflict pain upon her, but never her will. Shadowheart did what was right, knowing she stood to suffer for it. In so doing, she proved what it means to be a hero. A privilege to witness such a reunion. Shadowheart deserves to have her family restored, when Shah has taken so much from her already. Credit where it's due. Shadowheart is tenacious. And tough pain can break anyone. But she bore it well. And got what she wanted. Even if she's damned herself to a lifetime of that same pain. Shadowheart looks so happy, doesn't she? She seems, a uh, found in a way she never seen before, even when she was most devoted to Shah. Her folks must be so glad to have her back and to see who she's become. Our young cleric would have us believe she has found joy now that her parents are free. I see her grimace when Shah racks her soul though. And I see the doubt in her eyes, as the pain causes her to doubt the path she has taken. Shah sought to rob Shadowheart of her family, of her true nature. But no more. Now the healing can begin. Are you still content at my side? This doesn't have to be your fight, and it's certainly not your typical habitat. The city, you mean? With all its noise, smoke, stone and bustle? I would not be here given the choice, but I promised you my support, and that is what you shall have. Still, though, this place crawls with life, but little of it flourishes. I see refugees unhoused, the destitute unwanted, orphans unloved. The city is like a forest with an overgrown canopy. Light and nourishment cannot penetrate to those who need it the most, and still it draws them in. The safety of numbers, the promise of civilization, the dream of better. All that potential is too often destined to die in the dark and rot in the gutter. I wish, I wish there was a better way, 
I wish everyone could see the sun, have a full belly, and know nature as a friend. There is a balance that is yet to be found. <laughs> Listen to me, preaching like an initiate in his cups. It's a fine dream. Perhaps you can find the balance. Yes, I hope so. But we have a battle to win before any of that. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith. Or... forgot about it. I wanted to come here. To see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I know. Now that I know who I am. The Moon Maiden guides, but discreetly. Give it time. So much time's been lost already. Most of it I can't even remember. What I do remember... It would have been so much easier to just become a monster. I have my family back. And now I can't even look them in the eye. I don't deserve to be anyone's daughter. That's not true. Not even close. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to see me like this. Alive. Free. Feeling. I've dreamt for years of seeing you like this. Seeing you as yourself again, Jen. It kept us going all this time. I can't be you, Jennifer. Not as you remember her. Of course you can. No. I'd be turning my back on too much. Shadowheart is as much part of who I am as Genevieve. I can't just forget her. That's not what I do anymore. Besides, Shadowheart still suits me. Even better than before, perhaps. Can't cast a shadow without some light. Don't worry. I'm still your daughter. If you want me to be. I'll call you whatever you like. So long as you're happy. Arnel? The Moon Maiden guides and helps us find our true selves. Shadowheart. Daughter. <laughs> 